Liam, what are we reviewing today? Percy and the Diesel Works set. This is a rare 2011 set known as Percy at the Diesel Works. So Liam, what's your first impression of this set? The turntable. You like the turntable part first? Yep, and the Diesel Tent Shed. This is a really unique set for many, many, many reasons. One is the large amount of plastic that it contains. There's a lot of plastic on this set. It's a five point turntable. It does click once it's in position. That is an advantage to it, but it is very plasticky and it is designed to fit together and not with any other pieces. This fifth set, the ramp going up, just goes with together with this set. It really doesn't fit with anything else. That's upsetting, is it? <laughs> If you do remember the movie, Diesel 10 did have a shed that he went into. Let's turn him on the turntable. Get that Diesel 10 in the Diesel Works. We get the red light and we get sound effects from the movie. Welcome to the Diesel Works. Oh, there's pinchy action already. The set also comes with actual Happy Hook. Tell us about Happy Hook, William. Happy Hook comes apart very, very easily. There's a lot of plastic components to this set, including the crane and the derrick itself. They are very plasticky. Otherwise, he does have a, a good hook, and he does come apart really easy. It doesn't take much effort for him to come apart there and turn it. It was kind of, it's an interesting crane. I haven't seen this crane used in any other set. This is my favorite crane. This is your favorite part here. This is a really, odd and unique piece that kind of goes together. It says Vickerstown Diesel Works. Let's see what happens. How do we use this piece? Look, look at this crane, Daddy. Look at this crane. Yeah, this traveling piece is also kind of odd. Uh, that's why I like it. Show us how this works. We'll have Elizabeth here drop the cargo down. The cargo gets onto the magnet. In this case, it's an oil barrel. Yes. And then it gets transported up magically. Once it gets transported up, where does it go? Up and here, it gets dropped in there. Drops in there, like that. Drops in there and off diesel goes. It's a unique setup, but it didn't have much place in the movie. This is all based off the 2011 movie, uh, Day of the Diesels, of course. Diesel Ted, did you run out of oil? Yes, I did. I really want some oil. Well, I got some. Two things that are very unique was the word I should use to this set, are these standalone pieces. These are plastic stand-ups. They just kind of stand in place. This one in particular would stand right there. Uh, very rundown Vickerstown Diesel Works as it illustrated in the 2011 it movie. It has two sides. It does have two sides. You're absolutely right. It fits a little bit better going one way with the standards like that. This is what the inside, I should say, the inside of the Diesel Works looks like. The outside of the Diesel Works still run down very much. The other one is just this overhead beam that introduces you to the Diesel Works. These things, more often than not, as they just stand alone, really just get in the way of play. I mean, we play it, we move it in here, and we're always bumping into this and settling it all over. And did you notice the lamp right here? Yeah, there's a lamp right there showing everyone that they're, they're that they are at the Vickerstown Diesel Works. A lot of things have been said about this set. Most of them are not very good. This set was made, I believe, for only one year, 2011. Discontinued in 20. 12. It was built by Learning Curve. Uh, it was a very interesting set. A lot of people have reviewed this set. The most noticeable thing that they put up was the most noticeable thing that we've noticed, and that's the amount of plastic used on a wooden railway item. Overall, the set was rather ill-conceived. It went tie-in with the movie. It was a good idea to do a Diesel Works set. However, this set really just fails to meet expectations and kind of always has. It's been really unique in the collector's market that these things, once they are complete, are worth a pretty penny because, well, this item really didn't fly off shelves. It was only used for one year and it was not that well received. So collectors do get this set. We wanted to get it just to have another set. Well, what do you think, William? Do you think we should do a story with this set? Yeah. Do you want to add more stuff to the Diesel Works? Yeah. Let's make it an even bigger Diesel Works. What do you think? Well, we've got the Vickerstown Diesel Works barrel loader. Do you want to put this right here? Yeah. We got a barrel loader in there and refueling. This guy, we just got this snowy, Diesel Works crane, he fits right over yeah, that curve. Yeah, we got him in the rosy egg. We did get him in the rosy egg, so now we have him and Happy Hook. Mm. Diesel Works container right there. What about this snowy Diesel Works filler upper? 
You want to get this guy? Let's put him right in there. We got the Vickerstown Diesel Works carrying case. Let's just put this down right here. What do you think? Now we have some more Diesel Works stuff. This is starting to look like a pretty big Diesel Works set, actually. Oh, whoa, already, Percy. Why would you do such a thing? Because those are bad guys. Yeah, well, you're the one causing crashes. We have lots of Vickerstown Diesel Works stuff as well. We have hello? all these barrels. Oh, hello, it's Den and Dark. They work at the Diesel Works. What do you think? Should we add this totally random rolling stock here from Vickerstown Diesel yep. Works? Yep. Whoa, what happened there? Whoa, I'm surprised. You I are. You can plainly see. Oops. Well, that was a surprise. Yeah. Splatter and Dodge now coming in here. Splatter's filling up. Here comes Dodge. Out of my way, silly schemies. What's Percy's plan? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, you call that a plan? Yeah. Did you plan that, Percy? Yeah! You're a villain. Uh, ow! Sir Topham had told him to do that. I don't think Sir Topham had told one of these mean-spirited steamies to attack these kind-hearted diesels. Okay, as long as Percy goes, oh, you did right away. Unreal. Why? Why is this happening all the time? Because on our Sir channel? Topham had told Percy to do it. Sir Topham had wouldn't say that. Sir Topham had was out for lunch. Liam, which diesel tent should we use? Should we use mean diesel tent, smiley diesel tent, or wood diesel tent? Wood. You want to use wood? But he's like the smallest guy. Oh wow, he's streamlined there. Oil, please. Hey, is he gonna fill up? You can fill up there too. And I've got that. Hello, salty. How are you? Yar, I'm a little bit dirty then. I've got dust all over me. I need to get clean, I do. Dot, can you get salty clean? Right, into the shop with him. Well, salty, how was it? Yar, I think you misunderstood what I said, matey. Dot, I said to get him clean. Not get him green. What you mean to say is, I oh, did a great job. Hey, D199. Oh, big crash already. Let's play Swing the Hook with Happy Hook. Ooh, 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 I don't remember this. I wasn't part of the series then. Oof, oh, fill up, yeah. Oof, oh. Very good, Kevin. Here's your punishment, Diesel 10. Oh, Diesel 10 now, Kevin, with the oil. Slip of the hook, boss. Oh, D199, out of nowhere. I overheated. Derek, did you overheat? Yeah. Oh, you're out. Oh, hey, let's see his engine. You can't see the steam coming off that thing. You overheated again? Did you go up a hill? Oh, good job, Kevin. My engine is as good as new. Yeah! Oh, Derek. Oh wow, just bringing down the whole house on him. Oh, hey look, we've got Diesel, The Diesel, and Diesel 10. It's a lot of diesel at the Diesel Works. Oof. <laughs> Elizabeth, I'm here to unload the diesel. Oh man, this is kid thing keeps falling down too. Ooh, Derek, takes a lick and keeps on ticking. Oh, that got you down. That was massive. My rods are rattling. Dan will fix me. He fixes all us diesels. Yar, I'm feeling a little green around the gills. Okay. Oof. Oh, whoa, that was a good hit, actually. Pulling. Oh, wow, Boko's pulling the express. It's pretty good for Boko. Where's he going? Pulling the Mountain Express at Bound. Daddy, this, Daddy, one day we should Build a mountain set for this guy. I like jokes. Would you like to hear a joke? Go on then. What do you call a train that has a cold? Uh, it, well, what I mean to say is. What he means to say is he doesn't know. You call it a diseasel. That's not funny. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I don't get it. Whoa, Dennis. Oh, well, she's not involved anymore. You think Max and Monty take Diesel too? Oh, and Kelly. And Thumper. Don't thump him. Don't thump him. Ah! You thumped him. <laughs> you thumped him immediately. We need a new crane. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, besides them. Well, Liam, overall, what do you think of the Percy at the Diesel Works set? Circle crashes. <laughs> you think circle crashes? Yeah!
Oh, wow, that was a good one. Well, we hope you liked our review of Percy at the Diesel Works set. An interesting set. Definitely bigger things will happen without Diesel Works. A lot of Diesel Works going on here. You guys, get in the comments section. Tell us what you think of the Percy at the Diesel Works set. What your favorite piece is. Hey, you know what? Tell us who your favorite Diesel is and which Diesel you want to see more of. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching. Uh, diesel at the Diesel Works set. And, uh, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Bye.